Welcome back, Uncensored Locks. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep them coming. I already told y'all about the portable washer review that came out, and I told y'all that I would also be putting out one with the dryer, and I figured, you know what, since I have to go ahead and dry that load of clothes that I told y'all about in the washing machine, I might as well also go ahead and record me doing the drying process. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is the second part that I promised. Now, hopefully I can get them out back to back or something soon. But, you know, I got to edit and I got to make sure that my videos are always up to par before I release them. So uh, before I get started, please go ahead and like this video. Subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed below. If you are subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell so you can get notifications whenever me, un uh, the Uncensored Locks family, or myself, puts out a video, you'll go ahead and get notified and be able to watch it as soon as it comes out. And um, just for a couple of announcements before I go ahead and get into this review, I just wanted to let the people that are a part of our Facebook group, The Uncensored Locks, that we do have some new things happening there. So go ahead and check it out. I already put those announcements up. And if you're not a part of our Facebook group, The Uncensored Locks, go ahead and look us up on Facebook at The Uncensored Locks. And you can also get your updates there. We have in-depth conversations. We interact with you. We do all of that on our Facebook group. So if you comment on our YouTube channel and there's too much going on and we don't have a chance to get back to you. Nine times out of 10, the best way to reach us is over there on the Facebook group. We're always sharing different links. Even videos that we don't talk about on our channel, there's topics we do talk about on our Facebook. So go ahead and check that out. Request to be a member, you'll get accepted. The rules are really simple, the rules are really fair, but if you do break them, you will be kicked out. That's just the way it has to be. Now let's get right into the video. This video is gonna be about my portable dryer. And I've already given y'all a backstory uh, in the last video about what led to me doing it but just in case you didn't watch that video and you're only interested here for the dryer quick run through got tired of going to the laundromat crazy hours crazy shifts got my washer and I was just you know thinking life is good I was hanging my clothes around the house or sometimes when it was too much clothes I would go ahead and wash them here and whenever black combo would come home he'd go ahead and run them over to the laundromat and we dry it we had a little system in play but after a while schedules was too much it was too much and all that lugging back and forth and everything it became a hassle it was expensive on top of it, you gotta think about the money you're spending at the laundromat you gotta think about the gas you're spending to get back and forth to the laundromat you gotta think about all that it became expensive so got my dryer baby literally a few months after i got my washer because the hanging it up and the lugging it back and forth just wasn't working out i went ahead and stuck to panda because i did a lot of research and panda seemed to be the best specific specific panda don't just assume all panda dryers that's portable is going to be the shit i am only speaking for the one that i have the one that i've experienced and it's crazy because a lot of the reviews spoke about how little clothes it fit or um, how long it takes to dry. You got to keep in mind it is a portable. But a lot of those negative comments that I was seeing hasn't been my experience with my dryer. See, you know, I was drying loads of clothes in 30 to 45 minutes with my portable, which is about the time that you want to spend in a laundromat or even with a full-size capacity dryer. Some people were saying it was taking them hours. That may be because you're overstuffing. But I also noticed some of the comments people would say you can only fit a couple pairs of pants and a couple of pairs of shirts, which is what they had fit in their portable washing machine. However, with my dryer, I can fit everything that fits in my washing machine and my dryer, in my dryer, plus more. So you'll get to watch me dry clothes as well today, and you'll see how much clothes I really fit in there. And we might even count it, who knows? Stay tuned so I can go ahead and get that dryer running not really much to set up. I'm going to show you how I got it hooked up. No, you do not need an electrician. No, it does not run my electric bill up. It uses a 110 to 120 volt plug. Um, if you live outside of the country, you can request a different uh, plug for yours. You know, I'm in the U.S., I'm in Florida, so we just have the normal plugs, and it works perfectly. I didn't need any special setups, and I vent right outside of my window. So stay tuned so you can watch what I do. All right, so now we're in the bedroom and I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my dryer. And it looks pretty small, right? You would be 
surprise. So I have it, my clothes are still washing, but I'm going to remove my son's clothes from drying. And I figured why not show y'all just because the wash load as y'all seen in my last video is very small. There wasn't a lot left to wash because like I said, it was only a little bit that I had forgotten to dry the night before. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Oh, and one thing for parents, this uh, little dryer has a nice feature right here child lock works great took me forever to figure out. i had accidentally put the child lock and i could not figure out how to take off the child lock and let me tell you the child lock works because i could not open up that machine so i figured it out i had to go read the manual so make sure you do that <clears throat> this one is also like i said a panda dryer so i didn't get a higher dryer i got a panda dryer and i'll go ahead and try to find the correct info and link it so you know the exact one that I got in case you want to get the same one. So, you open it up. You see all his clothes is in there. It's already dry now. And I'm going to go ahead and let you see how much clothes comes out. So, And then this is the inside of the machine. It's pretty big. It's round. And then this back here is just a little filter to get the lint out. And then you go ahead and separate it and scrape off all the wet. And again, it really works. Like it gets a whole lot of the lint out of your clothes. So if you have pets, great idea. Simple reattach and this little piece fell off when I took it off but this helps catch all of the lint from not going into the tube that you vent out of and those are also very cheap definitely a lot cheaper than gas and a lot cheaper than the amount of money I spend washing laundry and it snaps right back in very easy washing laundry inside of laundry. and I have it sitting on top of these two little side tables with my stuff simple 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 and another thing like i said i vented out my window this is the tubing in the back simple hookup very simple i put it together in a couple of minutes <clears throat> and i have it sitting inside because i'm not drying anything right now but you see i cut a small hole in my mesh so when i come over here and i open up my window All I gotta do is literally put it out the window, keep this bun, and it does not vent at all into my house. And while I wait for my clothes to finish drying, I mean finish washing so I can dry them, let me show you. Everything's touchscreen. Turn it on, it's very simple. I pretty much always, hold on, that's not blinking, it's gonna be too bright. Okay, so I pretty much always put it on auto so it automatically would go to auto but if you want to choose something different like just a freshen up option let me see open this manual no you can do hot you can do warm you can do air dry you can do normal you can do delicate you can do heavy duty you can do towels you can do auto I'll just do auto simple you would just hit start and then as we go the door has to be closed if you open it it will stop it's going to warn you and you have to close it and hit start again for it to pick back up i'll be back when the clothes is ready to put in the dryer Alrighty, so now i got all the new clothes in and when you saw me wash in my last video and here with a dryer sheet let me go ahead and add my little dryer sheet 
Boom. Yes, it's all safe. I can go ahead and close this. I already got it set to auto. I'm going to hit start. And all I got to do is come back and check on it and it's dry. And I'll be good to go. So I'll be back when it's ready to come out. All right. So as I told you, I had it set for auto dry. And you see right now it's telling you the machine is done. Um, auto dry usually will go from, I believe, up to two hours. However, if the machine like i told you it has a sensory dry if the machine senses that your clothes is dry it will go ahead and stop it so it's been about 34 minutes since i put them in and we're going to go ahead and check to see if the clothes are dry and they are they absolutely are so this review has yet again been another success it took about 34 minutes for these clothes to dry with my panda I believe this is a 3.5 or a 2.6, I'm not sure, I'll go ahead and put the right information in the description, um, portable clothes dryer, and I'm going to be more happy, again, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. So thanks again from the Uncensored Locks, and once again, I'm G-Baby, and I'll be back with another review as soon as I can, and I'll try to be a little bit more consistent. Like, share, smash that subscribe button down below. If you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell to get notified whenever we post up new videos, whether it be just me or the Listen to Lock family with Black Convo and Yellow Basket, who will be back in the next video. And I'm out.